Hey, what is up? Uh, today I've started to write my own um, like simplified metahuman control rig. So it's kind of like control rig for metahumans light or simple. And uh, the first thing that's pretty complex on the metahumans is the hands. And it's one of the first things I wanted to start to simplify for myself and for anyone else who wants kind of like a simpler version of the metahuman. You may have seen the work I'm doing with the metahuman face. Um, I started with like the hardest part of the face and I think I've kind of started to simplify it out in a way that's understandable. And so the hands are the next most complicated thing, but I'm actually going to do the entire body. So let's check out the hand here. So you would uh, drag out your metahuman like you normally would. You would have to switch out which control rig it's using, which I can show later. It's very easy. And then you get this control rig that pops up like always. And so on the regular metahuman control rig, you're going to get an arrow per digit and the metacarpals, and they're full transforms, and you have ultimate control of shaping the hand. And that's really good for custom props, and if you have the time uh, and knowledge to do that. However, I'm making like kind of a simpler video game version of the controller right here. So uh, you'll see that the whole hand, all the fingers are only five controls. The idea is to make this as simple as possible. And this one controller will handle basically four digits uh, and allow you to curl the finger uh, individually and which will allow us to make a lot of different poses and if you curl them all down and you also curl the thumb you're going to get uh, a reasonable fist pose it's not perfect but it should get you pretty close and it's something that I can I can uh, keep tweaking on my end to make it you know better and better but it allows you to get to that really quickly so if you want to select all of them which you can you now have a way to very easily go from completely splayed to a fist pose and you know somewhere like in between. So this is also going to allow us to do a thumbs up which would look like this. I can't rotate the hand to show you but eventually we will. Uh, so here's our thumbs up. If you want to do a pointing pose it's going to look something like this right and so these are like your common I think poses you're going to need to do for mocap cleanup, which is something we'll cover later, how this would be used for um, auto hand cleanup, etc. Um, what else is going to happen here? We can do uh, this pose here. This is uh, very important right, to be able to do this. We got that one. And so while this rig is very limited, very, very limited compared to the, um, the full metahuman rig, it still should allow you to hit some, you know, a lot of the poses you want. Like this is the peace pose back here. And so we're, we're basically taking like what is like uh, 50 controls or something like that and baking them to five. It's just five, right? So same thing, if you were to bake, um, if you were, did your mocap, you did your mocap clean up and say it was like coming in like all sorts of crazy and noisy. Um, when this is done, hopefully you could bake to this control rig and it'll actually fix all your fingers for you. It'll make sure that they're all in bounds and then you'll be able to go in and tweak them uh, like this, right? And so again, you have less control, but you have less control. So less control is bad if you need something very specific, but less control is good if you want to do something simple. So that's, that's where I'm kind of like entering in the market more or less is building simplified metahuman tools for the editor. And then uh, if you're a crossover user watching this channel, uh, this is actually the exact same control system that will be going into Cinetracer uh, when you're using the metahumans. So real quick, because um, this is kind of like the longer YouTube demo, uh, we could essentially reset the hand. You can actually hit Control G. Oh, there it goes. It reset all. It was a little slow. But anyway, that resets all the sliders, but it's, it's just as easy to just grab them all like this. So we could start, um, you know, kind of neutral hand like this. And then what with this open down here, we hit enter, go to 15, um, kind of come down like this. We have auto key on actually, come back out. So the hand's kind of like breathing at this point. And then we'll go to like um, extended here actually, like going to almost full extension. And then we'll have him close his hand. Uh, we can have him hold his hand like that again. And then we can come grab just these two fingers and we'll go to a peace sign. Right, like this, uh, and then we'll just have him close his hand. So we would grab all the controls again, which again is only five, so it's not so, so bad. Uh, and we'd have this hand animation created rather quickly. Right, kind of a weird one. But it uh, just kind of shows the workflow with control rig in general. And uh, of course, there would be another one of these on that hand. And I'm basically going to design a... Um, 
an FK controller for the MetaHuman, but there's just going to be way less controls. So like your whole MetaHuman should be able to be described in you know hopefully like 30 controls or something like that versus like the hundreds uh, that there really could be. And then I have my simplified face rig, which you've kind of seen the beginnings of as well. So uh, that wraps it up for this. Uh, just come back over. Let's look at the hand from a different angle, uh, from like here maybe. Maybe we still a light on it, but a little bit from the side. And uh, you know, these are the range of motion and poses that this rig can hit currently. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.